Last year on the 60 Minutes program, I told the story of a young English girl, Teresa. I said then that it was the most painful story I'd reported in 28 years. Here's part of what she told me. Usually one of us would have to go on the star and then we'd be raped by everyone who was there. Did this happen to you? Yeah, a few times. How many men uh, would have sex with you at any one time? It was usually 10 to 20. What happened to Teresa is still one of the most controversial cases in British legal history. Mother and daughter are together now, but for 12 years, Bridget had no idea what was happening to her child. I thought she was just hurt by the breakup of the marriage um, of myself and her father. I, I explained it away with, with things like that, you know, that this was because she, she'd come from a broken home. You see, Teresa's parents split up when she was just two years old and left her in the care of Nan, her grandmother. That's when her trouble started. Nan was part of a satanic cult. And we used to be taken to a house in the country, or one house in the country, where it would happen there. And it, we'd have ceremonies there and we'd um, kill babies and adults and animals and we were made to have sex with the animals. We were raped by my uncles and aunts and friends of the family. Now when you say we, you and other kids? My cousins, you know, some girls and boys. Was Nan there? Was your grandmother there? Most of the time. You said that animals were killed there and people were, ki were killed there. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, to begin with, it was only animals. You know, I can remember them being brought in and cut down the middle and opened up. And it was usually in the stall on the table. We had a big table. Um, when the people were brought in, it was the same sort of thing. It was just, you know, a lot worse. As the rituals grew more violent, Teresa tried to escape, but the cult weren't about to let her go. And we ran out of the house, and we were running down the hill. Were you trying to get away? Yeah, we were going to run away and go somewhere nice. But they set the dogs out, and we got caught by the dogs. And we were brought back. I thought I was going to die too, but I didn't. I was tied up for a few days. Teresa, what sort of people uh, were sacrificed at those rituals? Who were they? One time it was a tramp, or it looked like a tramp. A tramp? Yeah. He was brought in and uh, he was you know, laughing and he didn't seem to be there, you know, or was sleepy. Um, and they, they laid him on the thing and they cut him from his neck right down. And uh, he, he screamed a bit and then, then he you know, it just stopped, died out, and he he died, and they ate his insides. The people there ate parts of the tramp. All of us did. Was that? Did you understand why they they ate him after they killed him? They said it was for Lucifer. They said it made him happy. Was your nan there? Was grandma there during the sacrifices? Usually. What was she doing when this went on? Um, I was usually looking at the, what was happening. But if I turned around at her, she would be smiling or laughing or chanting if they were chanting. 
Did Nan take part in the ceremonies? Yeah. According to Teresa, hundreds of babies were sacrificed by the cult. Not just other people's babies, but her own as well. By the age of 11, she'd already become a mother. How many times did you become pregnant? Seven. Seven times. The babies were aborted, were they? Yeah. Where were the abortions carried out? Uh, my nans were at the house. Who would perform the abortions? At our house, um, it was my nan. And at the, the bigger house, it was the doctors there. Doctors were part of those ceremonies too, were they? Yeah. Would anything else be done with those fetuses? They were eaten. I beg your pardon? They were eaten. We were made to eat them, and everyone would have, have a piece. 